we have this rational expression, x plus 3 over x minus x minus 1 over x plus 3. And it's an equation equals 23. We need to find the least common denominator and simplify so that we can solve for x here. So the least common denominator in both of these is just going to be this times this. So x times the quantity x plus 3. So we need to multiply by x plus 3 here and here, multiply by x here and here. So that's going to give us x plus 3, and then there's two of them, x plus 3 squared, over x times x plus 3. And then we have x times this quantity, so minus x times x minus 1, still equals 23. Great, so now we need to uh, expand this and simplify. So we'll have x squared from this, plus 3 times 3 is 9, plus 3x plus 3x, which is plus 6x, minus now x squared, minus minus uh, is plus x, all over x times x plus 3, equals 23 still. Finally, we can simplify the numerator. We have x squared minus x squared, so those cancel each other out. Then we have 6x plus x, so we have 7x plus 9 from here, divided by x times x plus 3 equals 23. Great. At this point, we want to uh, multiply both sides by the denominator here, and then we can solve for x. But we want to be careful. Before we move on, we want to see when we have our final answer, we will have some excluded values here. So let's keep an eye on this, and we'll come back to it when we get our final solution. So let's multiply both sides by this denominator here. So that just gives us 7x plus 9 equals 23 times x times x plus 3. So we can multiply this through. That gives us 7x plus 9 equals 23x squared uh, plus 23x times 3, which is 23 times 3 is 69x. So then we want to move everything to the same side and solve for x directly. So let's do that now. And let's move it up here. So we have, we're going to have minus 7x and minus 9. So we're going to have 0 equals 23x squared. And then we have plus 69x minus 7x. So plus 69 minus 7 is 62x. And then minus 9. So at this point, we can solve this however we want. Honestly, the most straightforward way for this is going to be the quadratic formula. Because these are kind of off numbers, it's not easy to factorize or anything like that. So using the quadratic formula, we have x equals uh, minus b, which is this number. So we have b equals 62, where a is 23 and c is negative 9. So minus b, so negative 62, uh, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 62 squared, minus 4 times a is 23, times c, which is negative 9, all over 2 times a, which is 23. So this is a bit of a mess. We'll go through it kind of quickly, and then you can use your calculator to actually calculate the final answers. So we have x equals negative 62 plus or minus the square root of 3,844. Then we have two negatives here, so that's plus 4 times 23 times 9 gives us 828. This is all over 2 times 23, which is 46. That gives us a value of x equals negative 62 plus or minus the square root of 4,672. I told you there was a lot of arithmetic here. Divided by 46. Then we take the square root of this. At this point, we're definitely going to have to use our calculator. But now we can pause and finally get something interesting. So we have x equals minus 62 plus the square root of this divided by 46, and negative 62 minus the square root of this. So this is, again, where you get your two answers, just like you do in almost every quadratic. When you do that with your calculator and the square root of this, what you're going to get is two values. x1 equals, uh, we have positive 0 0.14, and that's approximate. And we also have x2 is approximately equal to negative 2.8. So it was a bit messy, but we were able to find two values for our quadratic formula here. And we can pause and go back and say, does that affect what we had here? Originally, we said we had some excluded values here. 
those values were values that would make a denominator of zero here. So we would have x equals zero for this and x equals negative three for this quantity here. If x were negative three, this would be zero. We'd have division by zero, that's not good. So x cannot be zero, x cannot be negative three. However, that is not either of our final answers. So it doesn't matter, We've, we were able to solve our, our, our original equation here. Neither of these are these values here. So it's, it's fine. We're not too concerned about these. We have two answers and they're both correct. And that's the final answers.